Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about access modifiers. More specifically, when there is no modifier, how it affects a class. I'm opening up my web browser here to javacjava.com, selecting Menu, then Java OOP Tutorials. This is my object-oriented programming tutorials page. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here to no modifier slash default class. Default, also known as package private access, applied to a class. When no access modifier exists in the declaration statement of a standard outer class, the class is implicitly assigned default, also known as package private access. With default access, the following is granted. Full access is granted to inherit the class from within the same package. Full access is granted to create new reference, a new reference to an instance from within the same package. That's the same package, right? It's very important to understand that default access does not set or change the access of the members and elements enclosed inside of the class. Okay, things to think about. If you do not explicitly create a constructor for the class, a default constructor will be implicitly created with default access. Members or elements of a default access class can be assigned public access. While this is counterintuitive, it is possible for a public subclass to expose the public members of a default access superclass, thereby exposing superclass members to non-package access. Let's go ahead and scroll down here to this code here will highlight all that and hit Control C to copy or right click and select copy. All right. Let's go ahead and move our browser off screen here. Now I have a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop, but if you don't, you can create one really fast by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, type CMD, next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's go and open up our command prompt, type in Java C, which is the Java compiler, press enter. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff scroll by. If you see an error message instead, you'll want to watch my tutorial on getting the Java and uh, development kit installed properly and configured. Um, let's go and type in CLS to clear the screen. CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory. Backslash tells it to go to root. Let's type in MD Java, make directory Java. I already have the folder, but if you don't, it'll go ahead and create it for you. We'll change directories to the, uh, the Java folder here. And I'll do a, I'll type in dir, D-I-R, for a directory, right? And I have a nice clean directory here in Java. So I'm going to go ahead and clear the screen. Now this Java folder right off the root there is basically what I call my working directory. So any packages that I contain will be contained in directories underneath here, subdirectories. So I'm going to make a directory. I'm going to call this one. And I'm going to change directory to the one subdirectory. And I'm going into uh, notepad um, tester.java. Okay, I'm going to paste in the code right here. Let's go ahead and file and save. First thing you'll notice is this is part of the uh, package one, right, which corresponds to the to the uh, folder name there, right? And we're importing two dot star, right? So we're going to try to see if we can extend some extend and inherit um, and uh, create reference to some other classes outside of this package. Now. I've got this class insider here that we use for testing, and it has um, no modifiers, so it's got the default package private access. Same thing with this method here as well. This display method will just simply display to the console the string literal. I'm inside. I'm an insider in package one. All right, let's go ahead and just save this, and we'll just set it aside for the moment here. Let's set up our um, package two. Cd dot dot. I'm gonna make a directory two. I'm going to change directories to the two folder, and I'm going to type in notepad oops.java. Sounds like a Britney Spears song. Okay, package two. All right, um, what I'm going to do is bring my website over here, back over, and I'm going to highlight this, uh, scroll down to this package two code here with a couple of classes in it. I'm going to hit control C to copy or right click and select copy. Let's see then, I'm going to move that back off screen, we'll paste that in here. Okay, save. 
So the first statement in here is package2. Of course, that corresponds to the folder that it's in. And then I've got this class outsider. Now you'll notice the class outsider does not have any sort of access modifier, so it has default, aka package private access. Now inside of there, I've got a display message method which will display to the screen, I am an outsider in package2, good luck getting to me. Now here's the deal, is I've actually put the public mod modifier on this display message method. Now inside of this um, oops.java uh, source code file, I've got another class here, right, that extends outsider. So now outsider is the superclass of the subclass oops, right? So we inherit all of the methods from outsider into oops. So basically we might as well have this display message in here. But there's nothing to see here but the public display message that, that I, method that I just inherited, right? Because we've got this particular class with the public access modifier on it, which means we can inherit it and we can create um, instance objects out of it. Let's go ahead and save this. Okay, so back over here to tester. Tester basically doesn't do anything right at the moment. We've got the main method entry point and a whole lot of common and out stuff. So the first thing we're going to test is access to the insider class down here, right? Because we've got this basically set as package level, so we should be able to do pretty much uh, what we want with it here. The first thing we want to do with it is just create an instance of it there, right, and assign it to a reference variable, right? So we got insider class object type, uh, reference variable i equals the uh, reference of a new insider instance, okay? And then we'll use that reference to invoke the display message method down here and display an I am an insider in package one. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and save this. Type in cd dot dot to move down to our working directory. Now I'm going to type in java c and then one slash tester dot java to compile that. Okay. Now I'm going to call the java java virtual machine, the java runtime here, and I'm going to type in uh, one dot tester. One is the name of the class name, and we want to invoke the tester. Uh, one is the name of the package, and we want to invoke the tester class. So I'm an insider in package one. Okay, that looks great. All right, so we proved that'll work. Let's go ahead and comment out that line. And now let's just uh, test inheritance. So I'm going to create a tester object, um, well, an OT reference variable of tester object type, right? And assign it to a new, um, assign the reference to a new instance of tester. But we want to do this tester up here that extends insider. So with extends insider, we'll just basically be inheriting all the methods that are inside, methods and members inside of insider, which is this display message. Okay, so we can use our, our reference there, our object reference pointing and invoke the display message um, method. Let's go ahead and save that and give it a roll. So we'll recompile this and then we'll run it again. I'm an insider in package one. All right, great, we're looking good. I'm gonna pull back over the website and go over where we're at right now. So we've uh, we basically proven full access is granted to inherit the class from within the same package. Full access is granted to create a new reference to an instance from within the same package. All right, excellent. All right, so um, now let's come down here to um, Let's go over here to this class here. So now what we're going to try to do is we're just going to see if we can create um, an instance of, oh, you know, actually what we're going to do, no, nope, this is fine. Well, we're going to first try to create, and uh, we're in, first going to try to inherit outsider, right? And so if, if we can extend it and get access to outsiders, methods by inheriting it, right? And so we shouldn't be able to because it, it's default package private access here on the class, right? So let's go ahead and pop back to that. So just we'll just try class tester extends outsider. And of course we're importing 2.star. So let's just recompile this here and see what, um, did I save that? Yeah, what I gotta do is I gotta, 
I'm going to come down here and un uncomment those two lines to where we try actually try to. Uh, oh. Okay, so extends outsider. I didn't have to uncomment these two lines. I don't know what I was doing there. I just didn't save it from the last time. So let's come up here and save, all right? Clear our screen. Okay, so cannot find symbol when we're trying to extend outsider right here. So it just can't even see it at all. Um, it has no access to it. All right, so we definitely can't inherit from a default class outside of, um, from another package. Let's see if we can create a reference to it by doing this right here, right? And so we'll go ahead and go to save and let's try to compile that. Okay, oh, error cannot find symbol right here on this and trying to create the, trying to declare the object type and trying to um, instantiate it. Okay, so we're all good there. Everything looks just, uh, just, just fantastic. So now what we're going to do is the last thing that we're going to test is create a reference to oops, to an instance of oops. And let's go ahead and save that. Let's come back here real quick and you'll notice this is a public class, so we will be able to um, create an instance of it. We'll also be able to inherit it as well. And since Outsider is the super class of oops, we'll inherit its method right here and we'll, we'll just let's see what happens, shall we? Okay, so uh, new reference variable O of oops type, right? And then a new, or well, it returns a, well, we're going to get a reference of a new instance of an oops object. And then we'll be able, be able to invoke using the O reference, the dot display message, well, the display message of the oops class. All right, if that isn't confusing, let's go ahead and just save it and run it here. Now let's clear our screen, just want to clean this up a little bit. And then let's go ahead and actually, okay, so we get, I'm an outsider in package two. Good luck getting to me. All right, so we were able to do it there because oops extends outsider which inherited the display message class all right okay let's go ahead and close out of this close out of that and close out of this i just want to leave you with some final thoughts there it is very important to understand that default access does not set or change the access of the members and elements enclosed inside of the class so that concludes this tutorial thanks for watching